everyone. Everyone is passionate about art. The peculiarity of this exhibition is that it takes place all around the city. I know that not everyone is as lucky as we are here in Italy to have this glorious weather in the end of October. The Garizenda, the lower tower of the two, is falling. Hey guys, welcome back to Dramatic Lyrics Patek and welcome back to Bologna. It's been a very, very long while since the last time I took you with me to walk around the city, to enjoy a day out in the city. I'm really, really excited to do it today because I love just, you know, leisurely strolls around Bologna and luckily today is the day that I put off all of my to-do lists and stuff and things that I had to do and decided to dedicate this day to shooting this video, walking with you in Bologna. I really hope that it will turn out as an autumnal vlog because it's autumn, it's end of October and my mood personally is so autumnal already, although the weather, as you can see, is not really autumnal, it's quite warm today and sunny, which is good on the other hand because it's perfect for a walk in the city. So guys, if you want to see more of it, if you want to learn what we are going to see today, I also have a few updates and a few talks with you, you know, just this very relaxed walk with friends, sharing life updates and maybe some gossip and stuff. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and we can begin. So let's go join me on this day in Bologna. Whenever I have this possibility, i.e. whenever I'm not rushing around like a crazy woman from early morning, I obviously love to start my morning from a cup of coffee and I actually found this dairy-free cappuccino here, which is a rarity, I tell you, because usually when I ask for a dairy-free cappuccino, uh, people start offering me all kinds of uh, vegetable milks, you know, like uh, almond or coconut, and usually they do not have just dairy-free milk milk, so I'm super happy that I found it here today. But you know what I've noticed is that so many people start their mornings not only in typical bars, but as it is here in the bakeries, because this is a bakery and you can find so many goods here. People love coming here in the morning for a cup of coffee and some fresh produce, some fresh bread, for example, freshly baked bread, what can be better? And you know, that's what I always say about Italy, that you have all these amazing products, fresh products, organic products, and you can find them everywhere, even in your local bakery, right around the corner from your home. Okay, now that I've had my coffee, moreover, a gorgeous cup of dairy free cappuccino, I can continue my day. And you know what I've been thinking is that, one of the best parts of Italy, one more best part of Italy actually, is that you can have really good coffee anywhere and everywhere. Literally in every corner you'll find great coffee shops and bars and you can have coffee there without overpaying. It will cost you, you know, an average price. While in other European countries, uh, you will most likely have to look for good coffee. I remember in London uh, last summer, I've been looking for good coffee everywhere and it was so difficult to find it. Well, coffee is not cheap elsewhere in general, but then if you find good coffee, you have to pay like double the price of regular coffee, which is already more expensive than in Italy. And you know, coffee lovers, Italy is for you for this reason in particular, because wherever you go, you'll stumble upon really, really great coffee and you'll pay less than two euros on average for your cup of coffee, whatever coffee you prefer. Something I've noticed, guys, is that even though it's end of October, there are still so many tourists. I honestly don't remember a year like that any time before. I've lived here for eight years and I don't remember as many tourists throughout all of the months. I, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, I know that it's good for the economy, it's definitely good for the country, for the city, especially after all the years of COVID. But still, it's so weird and it feels so strange when in the morning I go to my favorite coffee shop 
and there is no croissants left because everyone has already got them, the tourists, travelers, visitors. It feels so weird. I think I'm slowly starting to understand people living in these very touristy areas like Florence and Venice because it's good, but it's also so strange. Guys, if you've been to Bologna or if you've been here to my channel for some time, you'd know that we have our very own leaning towers. And these towers are the symbol of Bologna, much loved symbol. However, a couple of days ago, all this area has been closed for transit because one of the towers, the Garizenda, the lower tower of the two is falling and it is actually very, very risky that it can fall and, you know, if, if it falls, it will probably fall on all the buildings in the street and there is even a charge behind it. It may ruin it completely. So everything has been closed off and people are now supposed to come here, but hopefully this will change because these towers are such a symbol thing this tower, these towers are so so important for the city Guys, we're not just walking here today. Actually, we are on a mission. And my mission today is to take you to a very, very cool exhibition that takes place in Bologna every two years. It's a photography exhibition. And the peculiarity of this exhibition is that it takes place all around the city. There are different locations and different um, photographers exhibiting their works in different places, different locations. And all these locations are super, super cool. Uh, it happens inside the churches or palaces or even museums and some places that are normally close to public. So I'm very, very excited about this year's exhibition. I haven't been there yet. Uh, it began a couple of uh, days, maybe like a week ago, a little bit more. And yes, so it's gonna be the first time for me too. But before we get there, we need to get the passes. So the exhibition is free. And with your pass that you get for free, you just have to register for it. You can visit all of these places, all of these locations, and as many times as you want. So yeah, if you happen to be in Bologna in this period of time, guys, make sure to check it out. And to get your passes, you need to get to Piazza Maggiore, to the central part of Bologna. Not this one, because there is a running race in preparation, but I'm interested in another place. So where I'm looking for is located over there near the Neptune Fountain. So follow me and I'll show you where to get the passes. Okay, got my pass, got my badge. So your pass is basically this kind of badge that has a QR code behind. All you need to give them, the uh, uh, girls who are sitting there and giving you this is your name, your surname and your email. And that's it, you get the pass and you get the list of all of the exhibitions of all the photographers participating. And then this map, I'll show it to you because it shows you the map of the city with all the places where the exhibition takes place marked here and i think it's really really cool also i kind of like this fluorescent green color that they chose this year because for every edition of the festival they choose different color scheme and i mean look here in the sun it looks a little bit less fluorescent but it's so strong and it's beautiful i obviously am not showing you all of them today but i just want to show you maybe one or two places so you get an idea of what it looks like what it's all about and then i highly recommend you to come here to bologna and visit all these places for yourselves guys let's not waste any more time let's go to see the first one that i want to visit today One of the exhibitions that I wanted to see today is located now inside the Archaeological Museum and a 
upon arrival, we saw this uh, statue of the Egyptian goddess Sekhmet that was brought here from the Egyptian Museum in Turin, guys. And if you haven't seen my vlog from Turin, where we visited that amazing museum, I highly recommend you to check it out. I'll leave you a link up here because it's, it's splendid. The Archaeological Museum currently has two exhibitions. One of them is by an Italian photographer, Olivo Barbieri, who once found an abandoned warehouse of pinball machines and took photos of them. And now you can see them here and they're lovely. They're actually so colorful and so beautiful. And the other exhibition is by Daniel Faust, who for 30 years have been photographing the transformation of Las Vegas that you can now see and witness here in the museum. Guys, I know that not everyone is as lucky as we are here in Italy to have this glorious weather in the end of October. And in case you are having a moody autumn and gray autumn, let me know in the comments, how do you fight this autumn blues? Because very soon this weather will arrive here as well, of course. I mean, the gray weather and endless fog will come and will stay until end of March, more or less. I think there are two good ways to fight the um, seasonal depression kind of first is to buy something for you to get yourself a nice gift and the second one is probably to get yourself a tasty treat and if you're in bologna i have a wonderful place for tasty treats that i'll show you let's go with me Before I try it, guys, I wanted to tell you a story. I went there and the guy who works there started asking questions and he asked me whether I went to the photo industry, the uh, exhibition that I was talking about before. And I told him that I had just been there and he started talking about all the different exhibitions, photography exhibitions that you can visit now all around Italy. He's so passionate about photography and I think this is Italy. First of all, you get to talk to people wherever you go. And secondly, guys, everyone, everyone is passionate about art and culture here. And this is so, so beautiful. I love it. Now it's time to finally try my hot chocolate. It's very good. It's not hot anymore because it has ice cream in it, but it's so good. It's perfect for this kind of weather. It's perfect for Italian autumn. I love it so, so much. Now guys, I'm going to show you another exhibition as a part of a photo industry. And uh, this is the last one for today, I promise. This is the exhibition by Swedish photographer Linda Nagler, who photographed different fun parks after closure at night, turning them into something sinister. I'm so excited to see, first of all, this photographer, but also the place where it takes place, because we're going to one of the most beautiful palaces in Bologna. I haven't been there yet, so I'm really excited to see it for myself and to show it to you. The palace is supposed to be in Incredible. So, you know, it's one of those moments when you don't know what to look at first. The palace with the frescoes and the walls and the beauty around you or the exhibition itself. But let's see, I'm really, really excited.
And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this very relaxed day in Bologna, very relaxed walk in Bologna. And if you haven't been to Bologna yet, I highly recommend you to come here and enjoy all that this city has to offer. And if you have been to Bologna, you're probably missing it right now. So in both cases, guys, I recommend you to check out my uh, playlist with other expert diaries from Bologna, with other vlogs from Bologna, so you can learn more about this city and just enjoy, uh, you know, these walks, these streets, everything. I also hope that I've managed to share this Italian autumn vibe with you. And if your autumn now looks different and looks moody, as I said before, I hope that this vlog can brighten it up a little bit. Also, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet so you don't miss all of our other vlogs, travel vlogs and expert diaries like this one, as well as many other kind of videos. Hit the bell button down below so you get the notifications of the new videos and also hit the thanks button near the like button if you want to support my channel. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share this video with other people and I will see you very, very soon.